normality as it was before uh, will not come back full on until we get a vaccine for this. And as you say, that uh, could be a very long way off. Canada could see up to 44,000 deaths due to COVID-19 over the course of the pandemic, even with strong social distancing and public health measures in place. That's according to new models released by the Public Health Agency of Canada. Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Theresa Tam says she can't predict exactly when the peak will happen, but warns that public health measures will need to stay in place for some time after that peak. Even once we're past the peak of this first wave, and on the downward trend on the other side of the curve, it will be equally critical to keep up with our control measures. If we let up, new chains of transmission will take off in our highly susceptible population and the epidemic will reignite. The figures show that in a situation with 10% of the population infected, Canada would see around 92,000 ICU patients and 44,000 deaths. However, those numbers would spike if measures like social distancing are relaxed too soon. Public health officials warn that these figures can and will change as more people are tested and more data comes in. Dr. Raywat Dionandin is a professor in epidemiology and biostatistics. He says these models are great for making public health decisions but can't give definitive answers on things like when businesses can reopen or when public health measures will end. These kinds of models are not for predicting the future, they're for assessing and assisting in planning. So it's giving best case scenarios and worst case scenarios. This is one of the dangers in, in sharing this with the public is that the public sees this as a prediction. It's not a prediction, it's a likely outcome given certain parameters and investment. Dr. Tam couldn't say which scenario Canada is on track for, pointing out that our COVID-19 situation is made up of clusters of cases across Canada and relaxing of public health measures will be determined by local health officials informed by local conditions. But Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says Canadians could be in it for the long haul, as there is no way to safely resume life as it was without a working vaccine. The initial peak, the top of the curve, maybe in late spring, with the end of the first wave in the summer. As Dr. Tam explained, there will likely be smaller outbreaks for a number of months after that. This will be the new normal until a vaccine is developed. One message that was repeated throughout today's briefings, public health measures are working. This includes things like hand washing, social distancing and not going out unless it's absolutely necessary. Dr. Tam emphasized that Canada is still in a strong position, but to stay in that strong position, we all need to keep our efforts up to keep those expected case numbers down. Now, those case numbers and those models will change based on how we act during this crisis, and we could all be put to the test later this month as Ramadan, Easter and Passover, all normally big family gatherings, fall in the month of April. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.